everybody. I'm just giving it a moment for everybody to have a chance to jump on the usual Tuesday routine. All right, got my comments up on my computer. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Sarah. Hi, ladies. For anybody that's new, my name is Tiffany. Thank you for hopping on live. Hi, Lori. Hello, hello. Give me one second because I'm posting the link right now to make it easy for you guys for the sale color. I always have to do that separate on the computer after we start live on the phone. All right, so tonight's color is going to be Snow Glow. It's a super neutral, has a lot of glitter though, a lot of glitter in it, but it is a neutral color. It's like a, almost like French pink with a lot of glitter, but it's not quite French pink. It is sheer, nice little pink tint background, glows in the dark which is awesome. And I gotta be honest, you guys, I've never actually worn a glow in the dark color, not even one of my very own peppy colors. This is my first time doing glow in the dark. And I'm just like freaked out when I went to the bathroom and I turned the light off and it was like glowing. I was like, oh man, it feels so weird. Hi, Erica, how are you? Hi, Sarah. So tonight's color is Snow Glow. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just rushed up the stairs so I could start live and I tripped on my way up. It was actually pretty embarrassing. So what I'm gonna do is my nails have already been filed and shaped, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give a quick little prep on them by starting off with using a little bit of acetone to go over my nails and I'm doing this to dry them out. I don't want my nails to be slick and shiny. If they're slick and shiny, it's not going to hold the product very well, which means you're going to have lifting, which is not good if you're trying to wear your nails for a couple weeks. So again, it's just me this evening, so I'm going to do my best to read the comments and do my nails at the same time. But tonight's color on sale for $12.99 is Snow Glow, only while we are live. And I see we're already at 600 viewers. If we can hit 750 tonight, I'm gonna give a snow glow away for free to one lucky winner. So after I swipe my nails with acetone, I then like to take my cuticle pusher and just push back, of course, all the cuticles, as I just mentioned, which is super important. Now I maintain my cuticles on a regular basis, but if this is my first time doing it or like first few times doing it, I would be using the drill to kind of get that cuticle that grows on the skin off. It's very, very important to do so to prevent lifting. If you put any product on your skin or over top your cuticles as your nails grow out, the product on your nail bed is gonna lift and they're not gonna last for the full two to three weeks. So I'm just using the cuticle pusher that we do offer on the website, but you can use any one that you have at home, of course. These ones are just nice and pretty. They work very well, actually, and they match our nail art brushes. So if you like to have matchy, matchy things, definitely grab yourself one while you get that $12.99 color. Chessie wants a close-up of my nail. Sure, girl. I just dried them out so they're not super shiny looking, but here's a close up. After I push my cuticles back, I'm then gonna take a used buffer and just lightly go over the nails. I want them to look dry and not shiny. See how the thumb is starting to look a little dry versus these over here are still shiny? That's very important for longevity. But again, I don't overdo it. If you overdo it, you're at risk of thinning your nails out because of course you're buffing layers off your nails. So it's just really important to do just enough to remove that shine, but not too much that you're gonna thin out your natural nails. 
And I don't even do this every peppy here. I do it every couple peppy here's just because my nails are so acclimated to the product now. But if you are new, you're gonna find that you're gonna wanna do this for a little while until your nails become a little bit acclimated to the product. So here's a close up. Now they're looking nice and dry. Again, they're filed and shaped and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off all that excess powder. And again, I see the viewers drop down to 400. We were so close to 750, ladies. If you guys invite your friends and share the video, I know we definitely can hit 750 because we've done it so many times before. I want to give away a snow glow tonight. I know you guys want a snow glow. Somebody wants to win it for free. Okay, so I'm just pushing the cuticles back one more time. I like to make sure they're super pushed back. I don't want them in my way. And I don't want any lifting. So tonight I'm going super neutral because I know I told you guys last week I have my maternity shoot next week, which of course these nails are gonna be grown out by the time I do it. But um, that's why I'm going neutral this evening, ladies. Nothing too crazy. So it's actually gonna be a pretty quick live just because we're just doing one color. Thanks for sharing, Christine. Thanks for sharing, Vicki. Tanya says if she cleans homes for a living for four to five houses a day, will Peppy last on me? Absolutely. As long as you are applying it correctly, it will last through all of that. So the color is Snow Glow. It's a glow in the dark. It's a nice kind of sheer pink background, very light, but it's really filled up with a lot of glitter. And let me show you guys the jar because I haven't done that yet. Look at all that bling in there. Thank you, Cynthia. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start our application. One, second here. Just want to make sure I can see you guys' comments as I'm going through this. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to take the number one and I'm going to do thin layers of number one of the liquid applied to my nail. This is very important if you want a thin natural look in the end and to prevent any bubbles and any ripples when you go to dip. This is what my brush looks like when I go to apply it on my nail. You can see there's hardly any liquid sitting at the tip of the brush. We don't want to pull the brush out of the bottle and have a big, you know, teardrop of liquid sitting there and then put it on our nail because it's just going to end up being uneven. It's going to ripple when you dip. Just not a good thing, right? So when you go and pull your brush out of your bottle, just use the inside wiper, just as I'm doing here, to pull that excess liquid off. Never wipe the brush up here and never on the side because it is an adhesive. So if you do, you will glue your bottle shut 100%. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa just got a snow glow. You're gonna love it, girl. This color is so pretty. So again, practicing bottle care, I'm gonna go ahead and do thin layers of number one, and I'm not gonna go all the way up to the cuticle. I'm gonna do about 80 to 90% up the nail, and I'm kinda gonna build my layers up. So the next two layers, I will go towards the cuticle, stopping a hairline before. But the reason we do this is so it can look you know, thin and natural up in that region and not just, you know, thick product sitting on top of your nail bed. Yep, there will be a restock soon, ladies. Everything is in production right now. We do have something exciting going on on Friday, so definitely watch your emails and the Facebook and your text because you're not going to want to miss out. All 
All right, so again, thin layers of number one, and then dip right into the jar. And before I started dipping in the jar, I don't remember if I showed it on live or not, I did mix up the powder to make sure it's nice and loose. That's also very important when you're dipping. You don't want the powder to be so compacted in the jar that it causes a ripple onto your nail. All right, ladies, sorry. I am checking comments at the same time I'm doing my nails. I'm just kind of skimming through them because I want to be able to answer your all's questions. So super key to make sure you guys have good lighting as you are dipping because the liquid is clear. So you'll definitely um, be able to see it a little bit better and have more control. Erica said she just ordered Snow Glow and she's wearing SpaceX. <laughs> That's awesome, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Kathy, I love your comment. You're so funny. She goes, I think to celebrate the birth of your little bambino, Peppy needs to bring back sweet tea for a celebration color. Girl, I love it. I love it. Who knew sweet tea would be so highly sought after? Like, I almost feel like I'm not even allowed to mention that color name just because I don't want to make anybody upset. All right, y'all, just reading your comments. I wish like, I wish the computer would just read them out loud to me while I'm doing this and I can just answer. All right, again, I'm just doing the same thing that I've already been describing. Going nice and slow and dipping right into the powder jar. So last week on live, we had almost a thousand people the whole time on live. Where's everybody at tonight? Is there something going on that I'm missing? All right, just taking my time. All right, so after we do our first dip, we're gonna go ahead and wipe the excess powder off of our nails. I always wait, whatever nail I do last, which is usually my thumb, I always wait to wipe that nail until after I do my second coat over here, just because I wanna make sure the liquid in the powder dries so it doesn't get stuck on whatever duster brush I'm using. So if you ever find like the end of your duster brush is getting hard, um, it's usually because your powder and your liquid have not set yet. Uh, Amy wants to know if this color could lay over a darker color. It certainly could. You'll change the darker color a little bit because the glitter is a little on the heavier side. It's not like super heavy, but yeah, you definitely could. And honestly, I really like the sheerness of two dips that when I was doing my other hand, excuse me, I'm like out of breath so much. I really liked it at two dips and I wish I would have stopped at two and did one or two of um, clear on top because the three is a little bit more coverage than I was going for, but you certainly can layer it or mix it in with another color. Oh my gosh, Trish, doing a Zoom call with everybody, that would be fun, actually. All right, so now on our second layer, we're going to go all the way up, but of course, stopping a hairline before the cuticle. You never want to be on the cuticle. You want to stop the hairline before it. You want to get as close as you can so your nails look like they're freshly done without getting on the cuticle. If you're on the cuticle, you're at risk for lifting. And then your manicure unfortunately won't last quite as long. 
April says snow glow is gorgeous over onyx. Yes, I can definitely see that. All right, so I am going in my second layer. And going after I spread it across my nail, I then like to go ahead and work towards the cuticle. I never start my brush, if you guys noticed, right at my cuticle line because I don't want a big glob of liquid sitting there. I want to spread it out across the nail bed first before I go ahead and dip it into the color. And then all I'm doing is taking an orange wood stick or you could use a toothpick, whatever you have at home, to kind of just go right around the cuticle line and make sure there's no product on the cuticle. Oh, somebody asked, let me see if I can find it. Somebody said they got their number one glued shut. So I didn't see the full question because the comments skimmed a little too fast, but it looked like somebody asked about what happens if you get your number one glued shut. So you can try to use warm water and soak the bottle upside down to kind of loosen up that liquid up there. The problem with doing that is you're risking contaminating your entire bottle of number one because heat is a contamination factor. So it will goop up your liquid. However, if you can't unsuck your bottle, you're at risk of not using your bottle anyway, so you might as well try, right? But whatever you do, don't force it open because the bottles can break with too much pressure. So just be very careful. All right, ladies. Again, I'm just doing the same thing. I know I keep repeating this, but I do that just in case anybody new has hopped on so they know what I'm doing. But I'm doing the same thing on my second layer, a thin layer of number one, spreading it across my nail and slowly working up towards the cuticle without actually being on the cuticle itself. And then I'm just taking an orange wood stick or a toothpick, whatever I have handy, and running it right around the cuticle edge just to make sure there's no product on there. But it also helps to kind of clean up that cuticle line and make it nice and smooth. Uh, Ariana, yes. My right hand is just three dips of snow glow. So it's a nice sheer pink with a lot of silver glitter in it. All right, so again, just repeating the process on every finger. Just taking my time. All right, and then dipping right into the jar. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and dust off this thumb because we didn't do that yet. And now we're gonna repeat the process on this finger. So the color tonight on sale for $12.99 is Snow Glow. Just so you guys know, only while we're live. Hi Natalie, welcome to the peppy world. I think Victoria is asking what is our all-time favorite color. Oh my gosh, I can't answer that. There's so many colors I love. What are your guys' favorite color? What are your favorite colors and what would you like to see more of in the peppy line? I want to see your favorite colors and what you want to see more of on the main line for Peppy. 
What do you guys like? Oop, I accidentally went on my skin. Gotta wipe that off real quick. And we're gonna dip. All right, ladies. So that is two dips of Snow Glow. Here it's a little bit more sheer and a little bit softer on the glitter than you see over here with three dips. I personally really like it at this point. Had I decided to stop, I would have done one to two dips of clear on top just to have that strength on my nails. But I did end up doing three dips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more dip on this uh, left hand of mine here, just so they're nice and even with the other hand. I'm seeing a lot of requests for purple and small glitter, more glow, yellow with yellow glitter, orange with orange glitter. Robin's favorite is purple people eater. More color changers and glow in the dark. More neons, more blues. So more of everything, right, you guys? Can't have too much. Wendy and Majestic are Shahara's favorite. Metallic colors you can't really do with dip. That's more of a gel thing, unfortunately. More browns, more foil dips. Sweet tea. <laughs> you guys love that color. I've never even worn it. Like, I'm about to go take this snow glow off and go put on some sweet tea because I need to understand. Obviously, I think it's beautiful when we created it, but I've never worn it to really, really experience it. All right, so I'm doing my third and final dip. Going all the way up, stopping a hairline before the cuticle, same process. Taking my orange wood stick, you can use a toothpick at home if that's what you have, and cleaning up the cuticle line. And you can see, let me show you guys up close, like what that does. You can see the separation when I pull my skin back from the product to the cuticle. It's very important that you're not on the cuticle, because again, if you are, you're going to have a natural lift as your nails grow out. Oz Red is a favorite. Cashmere and Stilettos, I love that color. Oh, you guys, I don't have any sweet tea to do a live sale on. It's gone. But we have some exciting stuff happening on Friday. So make sure you guys watch your emails and your text and the Facebook alerts. All right, so just doing my third layer, my final dip here. Going all in and swiping around the cuticle, super easy. Thank you. Someone said, where is it? Oh, Katia said she just ordered Snow Glow. Thank you, thank you. You're gonna love it. Ariana says, what's the name of the pink glitter mystery box color that everybody loved that wasn't sweet tea? Um, are you thinking about first class sass? That one was a really popular one. Jesse, your nails will grow, girl. Give it time. These things didn't grow overnight. It took a little while. I used to be a severe nail biter. Like, I mean, bad. I used to bite, like, above my nail beds. So I know if I can get these nails to grow, I think anybody can. All right, so third dip. 
Voila. And then we're gonna swipe right around the cuticle. We only got two more nails to dip. And then we're gonna be moving on. Stephanie, I'm doing good. I'm retaining so much fluid right now and you can see it in my face. So I feel like embarrassingly really insecure about it, but um, otherwise, I mean, I'm doing good. Just the fluid and the carpal tunnel on my wrist just hurt a lot, but other than that, I can't complain. I feel good. Thank you for asking. All right, so we got one more finger to do after this. And let me dust off my thumb because we did not do that yet. Last finger. And ladies, you can do this pretty quick if you're not distracted like I am trying to read comments and paint my nails. So if you're worried about time, you definitely can do this quicker. Now, I know my OCD self can actually take a lot longer than even what I just did this evening. So it really just depends like Am I adding nail art? Are you doing tips? Like, you know, what's on your agenda for that particular manicure will determine how long or short, you know, it'll take you to do your nails. So I'm gonna go ahead, dust off all this excess powder. And then we are going to take our number two. And we're gonna go ahead and set all of the nails. And it's very important when we do this, we make sure we get all of the nail bed all around the cuticle, in the side walls over here, and the tip. So make sure you get all those regions because your number two is what cures everything hard together. So if you miss an area, again, that's another reason that you can have lifting. So you just wanna make sure you get the nice full coverage. Now you don't need to saturate your nails but you definitely just need to make sure you get all the regions. You guys, I can hear my family just yelling downstairs. My family is crazy. Is anybody else's family just talk like super loud? Like there's no talking, we just yell at each other. <laughs> it's humorous. I love it though, I wouldn't trade it for anything. All right, so once I've set my nails, it's gonna take about a minute or so, so it can kind of work its magic, do its thing and get nice and hard. Um, so that's what we're gonna wait for right now. So as we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and read some comments. Lisa, yeah, I have to wear the wrist splints on at night on both of my wrists. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm trying to scroll up to see what I did miss. Elena, thank you for the tip. Thank you, thank you. I do love cucumber water. Dorinda said she just ordered snow globe. Thank you. Shannon, thank you. I know, girl. It's just hard not to be. Uh, Melissa, no, I do not know what I'm having. I'm keeping it a surprise. Uh, Kristen says, what do you pair with snow glow? Girl, you can pair so many things with snow glow. Um, just really depends, like, what your vibe is. Like, you can layer it. Um, for example, somebody asked about layering it over onyx. That would be really pretty. You could even just pair it with onyx. Um, a cotton tail to snow glow ombre could probably be really pretty. Um, if you want like a solid silver glitter nail, like as a stronger accent, you could do like starlight over here and then all of the rest, you know, snow glow. Um, there's so many pinks that you can pair it with like there's just really a lot. Uh, Tanya, do I ever put clear over the glitter powder? Yes, generally I always put clear over glitter powder. The only exception to that rule 
is when I'm working with a glitter that is already silver. So, for example, Snow Glow is a silver glitter, Starlight is a silver glitter. Like those two, I don't really put clear powder over just because I don't have to worry about it when I buff unless I want that extra like sparkly pop and I want to encapsulate it, you know? But if I'm working with colored glitters, I 100% always, always, always put clear on top. That encapsulates it and it protects it from turning silver when you buff it. Oh my gosh, Melody, you just cracked me up with your comment, girl. She goes, my wife always wants to talk to me during lives. I always have to remind her it's Tipsy Tuesday with Heavy Child. Girl, I love it. That is hilarious. What are you drinking, by the way? I'm curious. <laughs> All right, you guys. I could read comments for hours, I promise. So let me um, go ahead and start buffing my nails. Otherwise, we're going to be here all night. And I don't think you guys want to hear me talk all night. So I'm just using a bell drill. This is not the portable one. I do prefer a portable one. And I just do my speed at a very low setting. And I just go all around the nail bed. If you're new to Peppy and you don't have a drill, don't fret it. You don't have to have one. It's more of a personal preference. You can 100% do your entire Peppy care with the buffer, but I'm actually gonna be using the buffer um, after this because I like the finish of the buffer, but I don't, I like how um, thin, like the, the drill can get the nails a little bit thinner than the buffer with less work. The buffer can do it, it's just a little bit less work with the drill. Uh, Melanie, that sounds really good. <laughs> Hi Rosa, how are you? All right ladies, so I'm just going around all of my nails. And my speed's a little bit higher. This drill's a little bit funny. It's a little bit higher than I would typically go, but it's the lowest I can get this particular drill. But I always do it low and slow. That gives you more control over the drill and less risk of hurting yourself. But control is everything. When you control your liquids with your application, you have a better end result. Same with the drill. When you can control your drill with a lower speed, you're going to get a better end result. I can't remember the last time I wore all glitter. I feel like it's like extra blingy right now. I, everybody's like tipsy Tuesday sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would not mind a glass of wine. Obviously, I have to wait though. All right. So I just wanna show you guys, like my dips are actually pretty thin already. You can see this is three dips and how thin it is. I really like to make sure my nails are nice and thin. But you can see, like, if you look at the two fingers over here, my middle and my pointer, you can see the texture from the glitter, and you can see how the drill just kind of smooths it out. And once you go to apply the second layer of number two in the shine, it's gonna, the glitter is going to come back to life, where you can see over here on my other hand. So you really, the goal is just to remove that texture and have them, you know, as thin as you want them to your preference. So you can drill and buff as little or as much as you want to. It's totally up to you guys. And I always just kind of go right around the cuticle because I really want to make sure that it's nice and clean. I'm very picky about how that area looks. I like it to be uniformed to my nail. So 
So because it did a good job tonight, I'm not gonna have to buff too much. You never know, sometimes I have an off night. Yeah, you just gotta practice with the drill. I just go low and slow, low and slow. And as you get comfortable, you can go a little bit faster, but even I've been using the drill since forever and I always go low and slow. It's just really nice like to have that control as I'm doing my nails. All right, and then our final finger, thumb. You can see this is going pretty quick this evening. I'm not too far from being done, so if you guys do want to grab Snow Glow while it's on sale, make sure you guys do that, because it will not be on sale after live is over. All right, and even though I shaped my nails prior to the live video, I'm still gonna have to kind of give them a touch up just cause remember, anytime you put an overlay, a product on top of your nails, it's gonna change the shape just a little bit. So you just wanna clean it up a little. Uh, Sarah, this is snow glow and yes, it does glow in the dark. Kim said she ordered one, thank you. Uh, Jennifer says, what speed do I consider low? I basically go as low as the drill will let me. Sometimes I bump it up just a little bit, but usually I keep it at the lowest speed. Dina says she loves snow glow. She wears it alone a lot. Oh my gosh, Sarah, yes. The banana files that we have on our website literally are the best. Like I love those and I'm upset that I don't have one here with me. They really help to kind of just get like into the sidewalls and really shape the nails up. So if you struggle with that, a banana file is really good because the curvature just really helps to get those areas. Ariana says she ordered snow glow, thank you. So Duan, um, we usually do giveaways if we hit our goal numbers, but I don't know if we're gonna hit it tonight because we wanted 750 viewers, I think that's what I said, <laughs> um, to be on live tonight. And then we would have done a giveaway at the end of the live. So we would have picked a winner before we signed off, but I don't know if we're gonna make it there this evening. But you can help by inviting your friends and sharing the video. So also you guys, when you are buffing your nails, make sure you keep the foam side of the buffer towards your cuticle. That's very important. If you buff with this side towards your cuticle, this is a sandpaper basically, you're gonna end up like nicking your cuticle and that's not gonna feel too good. Uh, Duan, you're good, ask away girl. That's what we're here for. Um, yeah, so just be careful with that because you know, if that sandpaper gets you you're definitely gonna have a little nick, maybe a little bleeding, so just be careful. All right, so now that we have filed and buffed the nails, I'm gonna wipe all that excess dust off my nails. And now we're gonna go ahead and give them a nice little shape touch up. So if I wasn't on live, I would always have my finger sitting just like this at the edge of my desk. And what that does is it really helps me to keep my hand steady while filing to get the shape that I want. Um, because we're on desk and I don't wanna show you my big old belly in my lap, I'm not gonna move <laughs> the video that way this evening. But generally that is how I will file my nails. And I found for me personally, it works the best that way. Um, but if you can do it, you know, holding your hand up and free hand it, more power to you. 
So I'm just doing a touch up again because I've already shaped them before live. So I'm just kind of cleaning up where the powder is just kind of hanging over the sides a little bit. And you can see here, just a super quick cleanup and good to go. Of course I'm OCD, so I always have to go back and check it a few times. All right, ladies, again, just kind of cleaning up the shape here. I always do a cleanup before I finish my nails because I never want to seal them all up and go back and fix them later. I want to be one and done. I want to have my nails done and on for my two or three weeks and not have to worry about fixing them. All right, so it's hard to see against the buffer my nail shape. So that's the other thing that's also really important. I don't think I mentioned that just now, is I always use a contrasting background when I'm shaping my nails. Like I found that one little trick has been really helpful because it's just easier to see like the outline of your nail when you have a contrasting background. So it makes getting the shape a little bit easier. Um, I don't know if somebody's asking me or somebody else, but it says on your last post, is it stickers or stamps for the flowers? I did have flowers on my nails recently, and it was a stamp, but I don't know if you were asking me. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining. Tanya, you can get the drill on Amazon, but if you go into the group, Peppy Gel Dip Powder Tips and Tricks, um, I have links in there that will show you the exact drills that we use as Peppy users. Of course, you can use any drill you want, but we just put it there to make it easy for you guys. Erica, you're so funny. She says this is her first time being patient since starting Peppy and have had her Peppy Cure on for almost two weeks. Girl, what color are you wearing right now? I gotta know. All right, so going back to shaping my nails and get distracted too easy. So next week, because you guys love Jenny so much and she does such a fantastic job on her nails, she is going to be hosting live. So we got some nice colors picked out for her for next week's sale. And I think... She's going to be showing you guys water decals again because it was such a huge hit last time. And I got to tell you guys, like, I don't mess around with water decals too much, but I loved her tutorial on it because it does make me want to use them again because she did them in a way that I just never done before. So I actually learned something from her and that was really exciting. I love it that after being in the industry for so long, I can still learn, you know, new things and new techniques from other people. So that's... Really awesome. So I hope you guys see her live next week because she does a really fantastic job. Erica says so she's wearing boombox baby sit with sifted blissful thinking on the accent fingers. Girl, that sounds so pretty. I love that. All right, just get in here. I only have one more finger after this one. And then I'm going to show you guys how to master your number three. That, I would have to openly admit and say, is the trickiest part to the whole system is getting the right balance. But if you hang with me and you practice it a couple of times, I promise you will be a pro. So now I'm just going to double check all my nails. I always kind of have to hold them, you know, like out to the side, like that one last check there. And just make sure the shape is exactly how I want it. 
before I seal them up. Because again, I'm lazy. I do not want to do it. I don't want to, excuse me, I got the hiccups. I don't want to wake up tomorrow and do it and fix it all over again. I can't talk. All right, so we went ahead, file shaped the nails, buffed them down, good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our number three. And you guys, I promise, like you're gonna master it if you are having struggles with it, because I know that's the hardest part to learn. Leah said I got snow glow and heat wave. When I leave my campus head, girl, you're so funny, but those are two awesome color choices. Tanya got a snow glow, thank you. Kennedy got a snow glow, thank you. Um, Duan, if you go onto the same Facebook page that you're on now, the main peppy one, and you go under videos, you can find it there, but you can also, it might be easier if you find it on our YouTube page because um, we have it listed on there as well. Susan says she's doing her nails right now. Gonna use Orange Crush and thinking about accenting it with Thunderbird. That sounds really, really pretty. Amanda, thank you for getting Snow Glow. I love it. You guys are so awesome. So let's go ahead and work on our number three. So in order for the number three to dry shiny, you still have to use your number two, right? So you use number two once already to cure the number one in the powder together. Now we're gonna use the number two to cure the number three. So that is the key word to understand is that number two is the curing agent of the whole system. So if you're applying your number three and you find that your brush is getting hard during use, it's because you have too much number two going onto your nails and it's trying to do its job of curing. It's working the way it's supposed to, just unfortunately not on your nail and in the wrong place. So it's all about balance when you get to this step. And it does take a couple practices sometimes, but I think once you see it and you hear it and you practice it, you get the hang of it and you're good to go. So this time it's very, very important when you use your number two to just do enough to cover the nail beds, but not too much where you're drenching them. You don't want to overdo it because it won't absorb the way you want it to in a timely manner. Mom just joined. Say hi. Hi, everybody. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that number two on. And it's currently 9.18, so I'm watching my clock. The timing here is very important. We're only going to wait two minutes. And then we're going to apply our number three which is also very important. So I wanna make sure you guys hang on and see how I do that. I think that one was getting low. <laughs> I had a number three setting out, you guys, but it was getting low. All right, so it's 9.18 and we're gonna go ahead and wait two minutes. So as we're waiting two minutes, I am going to check on the comments. Elena says, hi, mom. Kathy says, hi, Grandma Grandma Peppy. <laughs> yeah, are you, you're no longer Mama Peppy. You might be Grandma Peppy, but you're kind of too young for that. I'll take that. You're too young for that. My I'll mom is that. only, you turned 53 this year? Well, or 52? 53. Yeah, I'm so like. Thanks for telling the whole world how old I am. No, she's, <laughs> you're not old. You're so young. I'm really bad with ages, you guys. I'm the worst. It's embarrassing. All right, so it's been a minute. At about a minute mark, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all that number two residue off. Again, very important because we do not want it to transfer onto our number three brush. And if you notice, I kind of moved the paper towel each nail I wiped because I don't wanna keep rubbing the same residue in the same area. It kind of defeats the purpose of wiping your nails. So we got another minute. And then we're gonna start applying our number three. Oh, some, who said their, it's their birthday? Who's having Erica, birthday? Erica, is it you? Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Melody says 50s are awesome. She'll be 52 this year. Shannon says she's 54, been Mimi for 11 years. 
Man, you're young. All right, so it's been about two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take our number three. Using the same bottle care as your number one, very important that you guys remember that. And we're gonna go ahead and do two to three quick strokes, keyword quick. Wipe the brush on a paper towel and dip back into the bottle and go to your next nail. Every time you wipe the brush on the paper towel, make sure it's in a different spot. Try not to overlap your layers too much because you're just gonna smear that residue around so you're not gonna get that high, shy, high dry shine that you're going for. So two to three quick layers, minimal overlapping. Wipe the brush and go on to your next nail. Then we're immediately gonna go back in because as you notice, the number three is starting to absorb into the nails. And we're gonna go and do our last and final layer of everything, but our second layer of number three. This is where you're gonna get the shine that you're going for in the end. One other key trick is when you're applying your number three, you don't want it to be so thin that it's already streaking on the first layer. If it is streaking on the first layer, it's too thin and it's not gonna dry shiny. So just add a little bit extra to your nail, but not too much because you don't want it to be all thick. And that's it. And still your free edge. And then you're done, you guys. What's everyone saying? Are the bottle holders coming back? Um, I'm not sure yet. They were definitely very popular. We haven't decided if we're gonna restock them yet or not, but it is a possibility. Kim's gonna be 57 on Cinco de Mayo. Happy early birthday. Janae, I am using Snow Glow tonight. Snow Glow, it's on sale for about five more minutes. Misty, thank you. This color is really pretty. Definitely gotta grab you guys as yourself a snow glow. Elizabeth, thank you for your order. Appreciate it. I was just gonna say, do I have that color? But clearly I do. Clearly you do. <laughs> I took this from your stash. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think about that for a second. Well, if you didn't cheat on me. Okay, it wasn't real cheating. I'm just giving you a hard I'm time. I'm cheating on you with your sister. I it is know. not my fault that I have two beauty queen daughters. That book in the beauty nails. industry, exactly. Okay, so if you guys watched live last week, mom was the hand model, and she did a fantastic job. She did um, fire glow, but as French tips. So she had like these orange tips, but it was so pretty because it just reminded me of spring break and summer. But she had to take it off the next day because my sister is um, a nail tech now and she's working at a new salon. So she's literally supporting me, helping me do a live and then she had to go see my sister for her to practice on her nails. So I just like to give her a hard time because it's funny. The upside though is that I can actually be loyal to both of you because she told me I can bring my peppy colors to her oh, and she go. can use her acrylic liquids so I get peppy and she gets to practice her trade while she's learning. Yes. <laughs> so you definitely can do that. All right, ladies. So we are going to be signing off for the evening. I hope you guys enjoyed live. This is what three dips of snow glow look like. I will post a picture tomorrow or the next day in the group. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, next week, Jenny will be hosting live. So make sure you tune in and support her because she does a really fantastic job. Good night.